Who's the best agent in the world? If the answer's anyone but you, it's gonna be really awkward. It is me! I've got two words for you. Trish. Stratus. And now I got six more. Is going to be on captive. Wait, sorry, miscounted. One more. Audience, how amazing is that? That is totally amazing. I can't believe a WWE legend is gonna do my show. Is she a WWE legend too? That must be why she was so eager to come on. I just know you can barely turn on a TV in Canada without seeing her on it. She's basically a screensaver at this point. Well, however it happened, you did good. Thanks, Alfie. No problem. She's all set for next week. And all you have to do is fill in for Trish in a match against someone named Charlotte Flair and win. <laughs> oh, is that all? Look, Trish has got the flu, but still wants to ensure Charlotte loses. You've got a show, but need a guest. And I'm an agent who knows how to put both of those things together. So what do you say? Should I drop the contracts? Like I could say no to Trish Stratus on Captive Audience. You go iron out the details. I'll go flatten Charlotte Flair. Love it! Break a leg! Not literally. Try to stay in one piece, especially your face. But go get him. in the ring or on the screen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from New York, the captain, Ali Pia! I was talking to Cap's agent before the show, and did you know she's up for a huge part in a superhero movie? Amazing! What's amazing is that the WWE Universe is continuing to support this part-timer who only shows up to wrestle when her schedule permits. Spiking. Here comes the Queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! She is a game changer, a trailblazer, and perhaps the greatest woman to ever set foot in a WWE ring. And with all of Charlotte's accomplishments, some say she's already a living legend. She's had rivalries with Lynch, and Rousey and revolutionized the industry. When your last name is Flair, competing is like breathing, and the queen has built an empire. No false bravado, always personal, always physical. Yeah, and always maintaining supreme confidence and savage ferocity. in this business, you are talking about Charlotte Flair. 
truly in a league of her own in WWE and showing no signs of letting up. Up until an hour ago, everybody in the arena was expected to see Trish Stratus, including Charlotte Flair. Uh-oh, Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. Trouble, in trouble. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Counter by Charlotte. Series of reversals. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Back and forth from these competitors. Expected that one. And she denies Charlotte. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Larian thinks taking a turn for her now. Ooh, oof, kick finds it. Charlotte able to steer clear. Devastating elbow. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, my Lord, what a knee lift. Oh, what a kick. Ooh, ooh. She saw that one coming. Close line. Springboard. Saw it coming and got out of there. An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. Don't know if the risk was worth it. Off the barricade. Oh, kick to the kidneys. It's the DeVille combo, Saxton. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Could you look at that? The queen allowing the WWE Universe to take it all in to experience the glory that is her presence. That'll stop the count, and this match will continue. I'm glad that wasn't the end of things. Booker kicks in a debilitating clothesline delivery. Oh, and she turns it around. She's pushed into the corner. Charlotte with a barrage of strikes in the corner, now looking to up the ante. On the top rope, catches herself the second time. Standing moonsault. Time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Charlotte Flair hooking her up. The first step is the figure four. And Charlotte now bridging up. It's in. This one's over. This one is over. Charlotte Flair can taste the victory moments away. It's only. They're trying desperately to find a way out of the figure eight. Successfully so. Yeah, but the damage has been done. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Oh, the impact off that clothesline. And there's another one. Oh, caught the kick, intercepted. Nice sweep of the leg. Charlotte a step ahead there. Boom! Springboard. Shooting star! That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. She's in the ring now. Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go. Bring it. Super kick. Charlotte is in trouble. Charlotte found the strength to kick out of that one. You got to give a lot of credit here, withstanding what has taken out many other competitors. Is it enough? The cover! Two! Fights out at two. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Oh, stop, stop, stop! And the forearm smash. Just a continuous rush on Charlotte here. Charlotte trying to withstand this. Oh, brace for this impact! Like a gear. 
guillotine. Oof. And that one misses the mark. Oh my, dragon screw. Wow, that hurt. Oh, yeah. A handstand into a double knee drop. Cover. There's a shoulder up almost immediately. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, Look no. at this. Oh, do this. Sunsets a sunset for powerbomb. She was clearly waiting for that. And now she's getting back into the ring. is not going to be pretty, or maybe it is. They barely came up with this. Hurricane Rana on the floor. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. <laughs> Strikes with the feet. And then a stop to the back. Flair moved at the right time. Leave the night light on for her, because this is a super kick. How much more can they endure? Cover. That'll be a win. What a hard-fought victory. Here is your winner, the captain, Ali Pia. Charlotte suffering a major loss here tonight. Charlotte almost in denial of the result of this match. Of course she is, Saxton. Clearly something must have gone wrong. Yeah, hey, so, um, yeah, everything good? Yeah, what's going on? Where's Trish? Who? Oh, Trish Stratus, yeah. I'm sure it's fine, but she is not here. What do you mean she's not here? We've got a show to do. Where is she? I'm working on that now. Left a few messages. She's kind of ghosting me. Although... Natalia was here, and she had my phone for a bit, so maybe she saw a text. I could reach out to her. I don't really want to. She's trying to convince me to get some of her rescue cats on the show, and I was trying to explain that it really isn't that kind of show, but she could be really intense, and I, I just, I just... Alfie, focus. Figure out what's going on and get back to me. I can reach out, too, if you need. In the meantime, apparently I've got a few extra hours to get ready for Piper Niven tonight. So I'm going to take advantage. So it's a blessing. <laughs> this is a good thing. No, but I'm going to take lemons and make lemonade. And you're going to figure out why I'm sucking on so many lemons right now. On it. I'll let you know if I get any messages. the Scottish powerhouse of the women's division. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, Piper Niven! Niven has made it very clear as of late, whatever she wants, she will take. You're not kidding, Saxton. She basically declared herself a tag team champion. And the funny part was, nobody objected. Niven looks ready to knock out anybody in the women's division.
You can see the focus and determination on her face. The powerhouse Piper Niven is ready to get this match underway. Lately, Piper has really had a chip on her shoulder. She's been eager to show the world what she's capable of by any means necessary. Yeah, she claims that she's just giving people the treatment they deserve. And in her mind, what they deserve is her particular brand of ruthless aggression. That's Trish Stratus' music. Looks like we've got a legend in the building. Or whoever's in control of the entrance music has an itchy finger. She avoids the attack completely. for a simple kick out. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. Waist lock applied, but their opponent manages to fight out with a series of punches. She just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. A flurry of brutality. Oh, and Niven turns the tables. Jumping elbow drop. Piper back. Niven avoids the attack. Oh! Counter! And now there's an opening. And then a stop to the back. Oh! And an elbow. Man! Niven's on her last breath. Makes a cover. Now oh, she kicked out. How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for her. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Time to reload. Roundhouse kick. Scorpion kick. Bam! We're undoubtedly nearing the end. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Saw it coming. She manages to get control. Scoops their opponent up, uh-oh, look up! Spiked with a Michinoku driver! Did Niven end it there? There's two! And a kick out! No one saw that coming! You gotta be kidding me! Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you've tried to end this and failed. She's staying elusive. Has an answer for Niven. Ouch! More attacks up there could leave her severely. <laughs> Now's the time to capitalize. Cover! And now about do it, folks. Here is your winner, the captain, Ali A valiant effort, but you can't deny that the earlier distraction had catastrophic repercussions throughout the match. They tried to tune out the added presence, but it ultimately proved to be too much for them. You hate to see it. What the heck was that about? Any ideas what's going on with Trish? No, but we need to back burner the whole Trish sitch for a minute. <laughs> back burner? The whole somehow I've wronged WWE superstar and Canada's sweetheart Trish Stratus and don't know why thing? She ghosted my show, then convinced someone to distract me with her music, Alfie. Uh huh, because we've got another problem. Don't worry, I'm already on it, but the set for captive audience, it's gone. What do you mean, it's gone? Just that it was here, and now it's not here. The whole set? So we didn't have a show today because we didn't have Trish Stratus, and now we don't have a show ever because we don't have a set. Basically, the audience might have been captive, but 
The set sure wasn't. Sorry. Uh, too soon. I knew it was as soon as I said it. But yeah, WWE is not super keen to pony up a bunch more dough for a set that we can't keep track of. Their words. But angrier when they said it. Great. We'll figure it out. I'll see who knows what. There's got to be someone who saw something. One of the greatest women to ever step in the ring, Natalia. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia! A true powerhouse in the ring, a third generation athlete, and wrestling royalty. Natalia possesses all of the weapons. She's held singles and tag team gold, and she has the most wins in women's division history. She's a three-time world record holder, and many more to come. Natalia has earned the right to refer to herself as the measuring stick of the women's division. You're right, Corey. Natalia is an all-time great here at WWE, and seems to get better as time goes on. We are seeing a mystery play out live on television here as Cap wants to make Natalia reveal who stole the set of her talk show. It's a real Agatha Christie, Michael. Who could have done such a terrible thing? The rumor mill's saying that Trish Stratus is a prime suspect. Would not surprise me a bit. Who wouldn't be jealous of Cap? She's not a superstar, she's a supernova. Natalia gets drawn in. It's a Gary. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Fall by a forearm smash. Could be considered an unexpectedly rookie mistake from the veteran Natalia. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Springboard. Hurricane Rana. That's amazing. No sign of hesitation. And that risk gained big rewards. Momentum is clearly against Natalia now. Natalia needs to find an opening fast. Ooh, and a reversal. At last, Natalia keeping that string of offense in check. Maddie was getting grinded down, but just created a chance to change things. Able to avoid any harm there. Quick exchange of counters there. A stalemate of counters. Rolls through. Oh, man. That was creative. Seated drop kick connects. She's starting to drag a little bit. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Oh. And Natalia dodges there. Oh, boom. Now well, that'll do some serious damage. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. This could be it. Cover. Gets the shoulder up. Looks like it's going to take much more here. Natalia grabs a hold. Spiked with a Michinoku driver. Is it enough? She just shocked everyone in the ring. And able to beat Natalia to the punch. Spear! Stalking a downed opponent in a vicious boot. And another boom. Well-placed kick. She avoids the contact. And did you hear the impact of that? Ooh, she just turned it around. Big elbow. Ooh. Ow. Jeez. 
striking combination. Lethal. With the Lariat. Climbing to the top rope. From the top. Nobody home for that one. Out of the ring. She has to mind the 10 count. Natalya wasn't ready. Now it nice. could be a cover. She kicks out. I don't believe it. You have to wonder what more does she have left? We have reached a whole other level here. There's got to be some sense of desperation right now. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. She's feeling the hurt here. Destructive offense from Natalya. That forearm stung. And now kicks. And a combination of kicks. Boom! We're going to wear down the opponent. Come with the elbow. Ooh. Ow! Jeez! Ooh. A flurry of brutality. Natalia turns the tables. Natalia strikes with Natty Bot. This is it. And the ref can't even start the count. What a kick out. Bang! A oh, dragon screw ankle breaker. Wow, that hurt. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Quickly slips behind. Snap German suplex. And she had Natalia's number there. She's going up. Top rope here. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. From the top, wow, a superstar. That was incredible. She's going for it. Man, that was a hard-fought win. She's got to be proud Here's of herself tonight. The captain, Holly. Natalia suffers a loss, and this one might weigh on her for a while. This is not the result that a lot of people would have predicted. Natalia learned a hard lesson here tonight, and that's that anyone can be beat. I've been on the phone all day. I've narrowed things down to about five or 36 suspects. It was Trish Stratus. 37 suspects. You I don't know why, but her behavior has made it clear that she has something against me. When I catch up to her, I'll ask. In between punches. She's out in LA opening a yoga studio and doing a charity match. Sneaky thief. She's got the public totally fooled. Then I've got a plane to catch. Wherever she's doing that match, get me on that card. Bump her scheduled opponent. Pull any strings you have to. Consider it done! You don't know who might be in charge of that sort of thing and where I could find a number, do you? It's fine. I'll figure it out.
I confronted Trish after the match. She's pretty adamant she didn't steal the set. And you believe her? She was very convincing. Of course, she's also a heck of an actress, so who knows? But she claims that we canceled the appearance on Captive Audience about 30 minutes before she was supposed to come on. That's why she had her music interrupt your match, to remind you not to forget about her. Why would she think we canceled? Probably because she got an email from me saying we were canceling her appearance on the show. It's in my sent mail. I didn't send it, though. I think I might have been hacked. It's kind of a rite of passage in Hollywood. So, this is actually pretty exciting for me. <laughs> you got hacked and all they did was send one email to Trish Stratus. Doesn't seem likely. Did anyone else have access to your phone? Only Natalia when she was putting in her number so I could call her about the cat act. It's kind of funny though, she kept making mistakes so it took forever. She's kind of hopeless. Or she was using that time to cancel Trish Stratus and then pointing a finger to keep me from looking at the surveillance tapes. Probably upset about not getting booked on the show. Still, stealing the set? I'm not sure she could have pulled that off by herself. She does have those cats. Doubt they're very good at moving furniture. If they were, they'd definitely get onto the show. That would be some good entertainment. But I'll look into who might have helped Natalia. Thank you, Alfie. Might be good for you to reach out to Trish. I'm not sure what the protocol is in WWE, but in Hollywood, if you fly cross country to fight someone, then realize the beef wasn't their fault, you usually at least send a text. I think that's pretty much universal. Good idea. Quiet on the set, please. Places, everyone. And action. And we're driving. We're driving. This way. Oh, and this way. And we're looking at it. And we're looking at it. Oh, look at her. And we're running. And we're running. And we're running. And we're running. Creeping in. Creeping in. Creeping. Backing out. Backing out. Backing out. And come in for a high five. And now stand back to back. Brilliant! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Cut, 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 cut! What's going on here?
Look at this. Trish and Cap are on the case. And the captain, Ali Pia! And Trish Stratus. This is ridiculous. This is a serious premium live event, not some infomercial to market outside products. That's right, Corey. Tonight, Backlash is brought to you by Down Up, Down Up, created and presented by The Miz. Will Trish and Kat find all the clues to lead them to victory, or will their opponents get away scot-free? Trish and Cap hoping to do double duty out here, taking care of Charlotte and Natalia and promoting their new detective show. It's ridiculous. They look like two girls playing dress up in daddy's closet. This is one match where I do not back the blue. Well, someone's ending up black and blue one way or another. Into the corner now. Close line in the corner. A shoulder block. Drives them to the floor. I don't know what you're thinking when you throw an opponent out of the ring like that. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Oh, sit out power bomb. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Oh, impressive counter. Reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Boom! Head kick connects. She scores big with the counter. Yep. Natalia comes in off the tag. Tagged in. What a clothesline! Good grief. Sharp chop. Counter into a dragon screw. A oh, dragon screw ankle breaker. Into the ankle breaker. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Oh, oh, oh. a thank you shot to the so-called benevolent queen. Yeah, Trish looked as locked in as ever there. And Charlotte is being controlled here. Charlotte's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Watch out! showing that they have each other's number. The check And that can vanquish Natalia. Ooh! She's going for it. This could be! She kicks out with force. She just won't stay down. And she had Natalia's number there. Ooh. Ow! Jeez! A barrage of lethal strikes. She's showing signs of slowing now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Two to one face breaker. Got the tag. Got the tag. Tremendous series of kicks. Ooh! 
Way to steer clear. Oh, the knees. And Charlotte can't find an answer for these attacks. Charlotte's got to get it together to avoid disaster. This is incredible. Boom. Strikes with the feet. And then a stop to the back. Hit. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Oh, stomping away. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Tagging her partner in. The switch here to Trish Stratus. What a clothesline. Good grief. Oh, and she got out of there. Strong takedown. In off the tag. Chop block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the name. Stratus able to avoid contact. A counter answered by Flair delivering the chop. Natural selection. Does Charlotte cap this off? Maybe not. Lining up for something spectacular. Here's the close line. Amazing. Looking for the victory. Kicks out before the two count. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. Oh, Charlotte Flair. Can she bridge into the figure eight? They're trying desperately to find a way out of the figure eight. Successfully so. Yeah, but the damage has been done. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Fought back with a punch to the gut. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Natalia in off the tag. Ah. Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. We might be close to the end. This is a very dangerous situation now. Oh. And a boot in the face. Boom. Able to pair that one. Big takedown right there. Rolling down low, striking the front and back of the leg. And, and the cover for the win. This is it. She wins. She wins. Here are your winners. Trish Stratus and the captain, Holly Pia. And the winners celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. Perfect chemistry between these women. I see many more wins in the future for this pairing.